um, I wanted to talk about the second uh, uh, microphone target, which is for singing. Since I don't sing, I don't really care about this particular target. But basically, there's the singing uh, U47 style. You can call this the U47 style. And this is like for a uh, spoken word. This is like the U87 style. So U87 has flat mids. Uh, U47 has tilted mids. So tilted versus flat. Okay, so tilted versus flat mids. Okay, that's that's really the only difference. Um, it boosts the, the vocal presence right here around 3 to 4K. While on this one, it, it, it's flat. Okay, so it boosts the vocal presence versus flat. Okay, so this is for projecting your vocals on top of a mix and thinning out vocals. Um, we can see uh, this kind of t this kind of tuning on a lot of microphones. So this is the Shure SM7B, and we can see uh, the that's the tilted. That's the tilt. So that thins it out and projects uh, vocals on top of a mix. That's the second tuning, and then the flat tuning. The flat tuning is more natural. The flat tuning is for spoken word, and it's a lot more natural. It can be used for singing as well. If you thin it out too much, it sounds like a, a tin can, and it's not really usable for anything. And spoken word sounds really unnatural. If you boost this region, so you want to keep this region flat for spoken word. So that I hope that makes it easier for you. Now we can look at some like really expensive Neumann microphones. Like this one. This is the Neumann TLM49. TLM49. And this is a tilted. It's like a ruler. It's just tilted. Tilted mids. So this is really bad for spoken word. This is bad for spoken word. It's got tilted mids, tilted mids. That's really bad for spoken word. Okay. Um, this one is the U87. U87, this is known for being an industry standard spoken word microphone. And um, we can see uh, it's got flat mids, flat mids. It rolls off sub bass rumble. It has a little bit of, of articulation in the treble. Very flat, transparent, with uh, a little bit of articulation, emphasis to the high frequencies. So that's the U87 style, literally. Um, you know, it's on the TLM-103. These are the microphones that I use, the TLM-103. And, um, we can see it's got flat mids, speech treble clarity, rolls off sub bass, okay? Transparent mids, rolls off sub bass rumble, open clear treble, okay? Um, this is the Neumann M147. M147 tube. And this has tilted mids. Typically flagship uh, flagship microphones try to be the U47. U47 style. So they boost 3 to 4K. They de-emphasize speech. They open back up in the treble. So they boost the vocal presence, they de-emphasize speech, and then they open up again. And a lot of times they'll roll off just a little bit. Below 1K, you don't want to roll off too much because it will thin out. It will thin out vocals too much. So you don't want to get rid of that uh, too much. Um, let's 
one has tilted mids, which is more for projecting vocals through a mix. Uh, you know, this is the vocals like ah la 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 la. Uh, we can see that on the guide. Um, the guide here. It says throat, throat, throat. So this is like the the soft palate in the back of your throat. So this, if you want to see how this works, the fundamental frequencies are your your, your chest resonance, your throat. Uh, I mean, the fundamental frequencies are basically your lungs, your vocal fold. You know that thing that uh, your vocal cords. So basically, your 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 voice is a instrument. It travels through your chest resonance, your fundamentals, your warmth. It gets higher in frequencies. It goes in through your throat. You know, up your throat to the back of your soft palate in the back of your throat. And then this is like vowels. This is like the oral cavity in your mouth. Consonants and sibilants are formed by restricting airflow with your tongue and teeth. So your tongue and teeth, your articulation, your uh, oral cavity, your you know your your tongue and your mouth inside your mouth, and then your soft palate in your throat, and then down through your vocal cords to your chest resonance, your fundamental frequencies. So that's kind of how it works. So a uh, So this is emphasizing your throat and your soft palate in the back of your throat in your head. Okay. And it, it's kind of thinning out some of the fundamentals so it doesn't sound warm and muddy in a mix. So you cut through a mix better. Um, and uh, there's also other microphones like this one. This is the uh, TLM-193. This actually scoops out the vocal presence. I would probably use this microphone to record instruments. We can see it scoops out the, the entire vocal presence. It's scooping it out. Um, and then you could get like uh, a presence boosted mic uh, to work in combination with it. So these are the two tunings. It's kind of hard to see, but one is tilted and one is flat. Uh, I wonder, um, I wonder if the DLM-193 is here. No. There's the, the DLM-49, and the DLM-49 has got really tilted mids. So you got a really good idea of tilted mids tilted mids versus flat mids, so, um, that's really, and, you know, there's other brands out there, like this, a lot of vocal singing tube, tube microphones, if we look at the frequency response, um, so it's got 3 to 4k boosted, it de-emphasizes speech a little bit, it's very sparkly and bright, um, they got different tunings, like we can change it to warm, uh, which uh, gets rid of the presence boost entirely. Flat, it flattens out the mic. We got dark. Dark, uh, dark rolls off the highs. We got saturated. Saturated uh, does a little bit of bass boosting, and it de-emphasizes the highs a little bit, so it kind of warms up the sound. And then clear. Clear is the brightest, you know, it's very bright. Warm rolls it off. So there's different tunings, okay? Um, there's different tunings you can do, definitely, uh, that you can play around with. But if you know the science behind it, um, you'll notice that uh, microphones do not boost over 5 dBs, for example. So there's a, a distinct science behind these tunings. So many people think about microphones as these extravagant, expensive things. But really, it's all about the tuning and just having reasonably good components and competency to produce good performing equipment. But at the end of the day, it's about the tuning. It's about, and if you know the rules, um, you know, you know exactly what to get. So that's the reason why, like, I don't need one of these, uh, 
stuff like that to be able to really for this stuff to actually matter so this is the um, this is the uh, vocal singing singing microphone tuning this is like a Q47 you know M147 tube uh, so if you if you know that this is bad for spoken word right here this can help you out avoid a lot of different microphones there are so many wackily colored microphones out there it is overwhelming but I'm telling you the Neumann TL 103 this thing is like in my this thing is crazy this thing is crazy good for natural clear sound ultra low self noise signal to noise 87 dba that's amazing it's almost 90 um you know if we look at this other neumann the u87 um it's only it's only 82 dbs and if we look at the other pickup patterns like omni it's 15 uh, 15 dba 12 dba 14 dba signal to noise here. Okay, so 68 dBA, 68 dBA, 71 dBA. Oh, that, that's not what I want. That's not dB. That's not dBA. Okay, that's dBA. That's dBA right here. That's A-weighted. That, that's what we're looking for. So it's 82 dB in cardioid, 79, which is terrible. It's in the 70s in Omni. Figure 8 is 80. So cardioid is 82. That's that's mediocre. This one, this one, um, it's 87. The TL103, 87. That's better. And it's only in cardioid. It's got everything you need and nothing you don't. It has very good performing specs. So anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk about the the. Uh, the tuning that you really don't need to worry about for most people and that's the singing tuning this is only good for singing like stage microphones stage microphones use this tuning a lot to cut through a mix you know they thin it out they they do a boost up in these high frequencies to, for you know presence boosting presence boosting presence boosting so they thin it out they thin it out and they make it shouty and bright so to cut through a mix and not sound muddy and dark okay so yeah this is mainly a tuning that's very specifically designed for like singing vocals it's not good for spoken word 